Good morning. It is Monday and it is about 7:15, 7:20. So a little bit later morning than typical uh, because there were I did not have a load to pick up or anything until a moment ago. It just came through which gave me time to work on the videos. I needed to edit quite a few. There'll be more coming here. Um, well, by the time you see this, you will have already noticed there's been a, a few that have been uploaded. So it takes a while to update those and kind of edit them a little bit. Um, and cleaning up my phone because I have so many photos and videos just in general because everyone, from customers that I've had over the years, I have, uh, I think it's over, it's around 35,000 pictures on my phone, 35 something thousand pictures and videos, because when I would look at a customer's tree, I couldn't remember all the details and I couldn't remember exactly how it looked last time. So that's why I loved photos and to see if a disease was spreading or not. And anyway, I had to get rid of those and, or at least put many of them in the cloud to get them off my phone because I used up all of my memory already. So, um, same routine, breakfast, cream of wheat, um, and I need to get going. So I'm not going to make this one long at all. There's really not much to say other than I'm going to Wisconsin. I've never been to Wisconsin, so I'm looking forward to this. It's about a thousand miles from here, and uh, I like that. The the live load today, I I really can't. Well, when I'm working, I cannot be videoing anything because I'm working. It's hard. But I'm, I'll try to get maybe some pictures if I can. But a lot of these places are, are um, I have to, they're minimal photos and um, many of the places won't allow any 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 photos or videos whatsoever so they can't be done so we won't I won't be able to show much of that just heads up won't be seeing much of that anyway I guess I'm gonna get going uh, yesterday was uh, kind of a nice day to catch up on some things so was this morning and I'm ready to go I'm ready to go so here we are I'm gonna go pick up that load alright I'll be back so I'm at the plant to pick up my live load and I just pulled in. So I'm going to go check in with the shipping department. They will tell me where to go, which bay to go into. And in the meantime, I'll be getting the trailer ready, all the straps, um, uh, all the different parts for the securement. I'll have those ready in order of the way that they need to be used. So it speeds things up. So that's that. That's where I'm at right now. That's what I'm doing. So, um, I'll update the next phase of this. All right, I'm still here at the plant. I'm in the bay. I've got everything ready, uh, prepared. And the, the guys that were gonna load me were waiting a little bit. I'm slow, I'm still slow. So they waited for about 15, 20 minutes. And I guess they could see that I was gonna be longer than that. And, they, and now they're just gone. So, um, but I'm done now. It took me, um, almost an hour a little about almost about almost oh 45 minutes i think from start to finish from backing starting to back in to have everything prepared for them to put the glass on and i was a little ahead of the schedule my appointment was for 10 and i got here at the plant itself at like 905 so i was about 45 minutes early but i don't know it's probably a shift change maybe but Anyway, they're, they they just they disappeared. So I'm I'm eating Snickers. I'm on my second one, and there's probably going to be a third. All right, so I will uh, I'll update you when whenever there's something to tell you. All right. All right. So the day is wrapping up. The load. I got the load done. Um, it took a long time, about four hours. I got there and by the time I left it, it was about five, but almost an hour of that was used waiting for the loaders. They kind of went away for a little bit. So things went well. Um, I'm real happy with the way it was loaded and everything. And I got to be real. Sometimes, sometimes this is really physical and I say really physical. I, I think it's more, more the heat. I'm in Texas. And it's the beginning of the season getting hotter and it's abnormally hot for this time of the year, middle of May. And so my body hasn't acclimated to that. Back whenever I had my company, I always had to acclimate. And I was in Austin, in Texas. 
So as the temperatures rose, I would adapt, but those first number of hot days for a couple of weeks, I wasn't acclimated. Well here, I'm all over the country in really nice weather for the most part. Anyway, it really it got me, got me kind of hard today. And um, it's just hard sometimes, you know? And I'm, I'm, I'm a really tough guy. Uh, and I don't mean that in a brag, braggadocious way. I'm not, and not a, I'm not a big guy, and I'm, I'm not rough and things like that. But I am really tough. And when I say tough, tough has nothing to do with size. You can be an 80-pound woman, girl, man, little boy, dogs, little dog. You can be tough. And when I say tough, I push. I push. I don't let too many things stop me. I keep going even when it just hurts <laughs> uh, emotionally physically all those things and when i'm when I'm, I'm i'm disciplined and i'm determined and i i realize those things on days like this when my body just doesn't want to do any more and and it can't go much more and you just keep pushing but it got me and I don't quit. I'm not not a quitter. However, what I've heard people say is like, you will quit like um, 20 times in the first few months or something like that. And I know what they mean. Uh, quitting has not crossed my mind. But what it has done is it it's it's some of these days, just a few. They're not often, but they're 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 kind of peppered in there. <laughs> what they do is make me doubt myself I gotta be honest sometimes I doubt myself like I'm like man can I do this like regularly and I can um, I just have to keep going and, and adapt but I'm, I'm just being real you know there's hard times like this it is not always beautiful cruising down the interstate beautiful sunsets sunrises I mainly catch sunrises by the way not so many sunsets but sunrises and beautiful weather, mountains and music and all of the challenges, of course. But it is just, it is, it is a job, you know, and it's hard. And it's why the turnover rate, I think, is fairly high. This is at least what I do, and there's different divisions of trucking. It's, uh, some are harder than others physically and challenging. Some are simpler, just flat out simpler and easier, and you don't have to sacrifice a whole lot you know there it's your schedule is pretty consistent or uh, you don't sacrifices are less uh, schedules can be pretty regular like be home every day or be home on the weekends and be in a familiar territory that's one type of driving and the type I do is is pretty ex you know it's all over the place and and it, it can be physical and I like all of it I love all of that but today it, it kind of kicked my butt. <laughs> I don't like to admit that, but it kind of kicked my it kind of kicked my butt, and I've had my butt kicked with work many times. I know what it feels like, and today was uh, right on it. But I need to wrap this up. But one thing that's kind of cool about all that, yes, it was hard, but I'm out of hours, so. I have this load to drop off in Wisconsin and I, I only have four hours that I can drive tomorrow and I can drive 10 the next. Um, I don't have, I didn't, I'm out of hours now. I, I don't think I have maybe one hour left today. So I, I got the load. I came back to our hub and stayed here or called the office and going to be talking to my fleet manager tomorrow to kind of see what we need to do about it. But anyway, point here, yes, it was a hard day. But because of the way the hour system works, it, it shuts me down. It's like, yeah, you're not going to be able to do a whole lot more driving and hours. And it's like, that's what I'm talking about. That's good. In the past, when it was my company and I felt like I didn't have a choice because I had all this work that needed to be done, I would just push and push until I hurt and I hurt myself. I physically hurt myself. Uh, physically and emotionally but physically for sure and um it wasn't healthy 
and, and this kind of keeps a person from doing that too much and I need the rest I'm gonna go to bed in a little bit I'm gonna have a salad I'm gonna drink a lot of water I'm back at one of our shops or one of our uh, kind of a hub and I'm doing laundry for the clothes I wore today so they're gonna be done in like 45 minutes and that's gonna be perfect I'm gonna be ready for bed my body's tired my body's tired anyway that's that that's uh, how a day goes and it was what you call a live load and uh, but it all went well and now we need to figure out the hour situation to get to Wisconsin in the time that I need to be there I need to have my full solid days available and they're not because I've ran out of hours and, and again I like that so it keeps us healthy keeps us from burning out but in many more hours and it would be probably too much and I work for a great company that doesn't try to manipulate things at all they're a very honest good company so they, they, they don't try they, they know the rules the laws they're, they don't never want to cross that it's a really good company you know yeah it's Maverick I've mentioned the name but it's Maverick it's a good it's a really good company I'm real happy with them and uh, anyway I am going to eat and I'm gonna to go to bed all right I'll make another one tomorrow and we'll see what we'll see what happens with the hours that'll be interesting see how to overcome that because because I'm out of hours and this this load that I got needs to get to Wisconsin in a little over two to in about three days so anyway all right I'm out y'all have a good day bye bye